Hey, it's Teresa from Life Beyond Diabetes, and I am coming to you pre-recorded today because it um, turns out I have a meeting that's going to be scheduled um, right in the middle of my lives on Wednesdays um, going forward. So Wednesday will be pre-recorded instead of live, but still have the same information for you that I was going to be providing during my live today. Um, so um, this week we're talking about various ways of eating or diets for people with type 2 diabetes. And um, yesterday we talked about low carb. Today we're going to talk about the Mediterranean diet. And um, I'll get into a little bit of specifics about the Mediterranean diet in just a minute. But what I found interesting as I was researching the Mediterranean diet is that um, while it's the research is really solid on it being excellent for cardiometabolic health. So heart health, diabetes health, um, you know, good cholesterol numbers, um, improved insulin resistance and improved blood sugar. Unlike with the low carb diet, which is really obvious why that works and why that improves insulin resistance. I was not able to find any research that told me why the Mediterranean diet works. So I went a little deeper and looked at what was going on. And the best thing that I can figure out is that when somebody follows a Mediterranean diet, they're significantly improving, or most likely they're significantly improving their diet from the standard American diet or a standard Western diet that has a lot more sugar and fat in it than what would be expected under a healthy diet. Um, so um, I think that's why the Mediterranean diet works, but what we know is that the research is solid. It is a healthy diet for people with type two diabetes and um, people who are looking to improve their cardiovascular health. So, and what exactly is a Mediterranean diet? Um, Mediterranean diet, as you might guess by its name, is named after um, the typical diet or historically typical diet of people who lived around the Mediterranean. Um, so the, um, if you look at a, a food pyramid, a Mediterranean diet food pyramid, um, you'll see that the base is, has an emphasis of um, plant-based foods. So mainly whole grains and whole fruits and vegetables, a little bit of bread and pasta. Now, again, as much whole grains as we can. And when we're thinking pasta, we're not thinking, like, I don't know, in, in the U.S., when we, have, when we go out for Italian food or we have pasta, it's a big bowl of pasta with some sauce on it. A Mediterranean diet, it's a small serving of pasta if there's pasta. It's a piece of bread and not half a loaf if there's bread. So it's in moderation, these um, things that have refined grains in them. So... Um, Whole food, um, whole plants and vegetables, and um, whole grains is at the base. Um, fruit is a typical dessert, so that would you, know, you wouldn't find necessarily something like cake as a dessert in the Mediterranean diet. Probably more of a fruit dish with maybe a little, you know, some some cream or custard with that. Um, olive oil is the principal source of fat in the Mediterranean diet. So olive oil is considered a healthy oil and, and most cooking is done with olive oil. So the next rung up on the, um, on the food pyramid there is going to be dairy. And um, the dairy here that we're talking about in the Mediterranean diet is primarily cheese and yogurt. So on a daily basis, people who are following a Mediterranean diet are eating a lot of plant-based foods and some cheese and yogurt. And then a few times a week, they're adding fish, poultry, or eggs. So that's where a lot of the protein comes from. There's also protein coming from the, the cheese and yogurt. And then rarely, once a month or less, maybe having some red meat. And one of the things that I found interesting about a Mediterranean diet is it is the one diet that I found that includes wine in low to moderate amounts. So. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy about recommending wine as part of a healthy diet, but the research is out there that shows low to moderate amounts of, of red wine in particular is heart healthy. So um, I don't want to recommend wine to anybody who has issues with alcohol um, abuse, but 
you know yourself better than I do. And, um, you know, wine is part of a, um, a Mediterranean diet. So um, there you have it. That is basically in a nutshell what the Mediterranean diet looks like. Um, I have another meal plan. I know some of you have the low carb um, family friendly meal plan. I have another meal plan that is a Mediterranean diet and um, the link to download that is available in the um, description of this um, video on here on Facebook. So you can go ahead and get again, another seven day meal plan complete with recipes and a grocery list. If you're interested in trying out a Mediterranean diet um, and this meal plan, the carbohydrates are um, not as low as what yesterday, what we were talking about yesterday when I was talking about getting, aiming for 75 to 100 carbs daily. These have approximately between 120 and 150 grams of net carbs daily. So it's a little bit higher, but again, significantly fewer carbs than a standard Western diet with you know, the 300 to 500 carbs a day. So if you have any questions about the Mediterranean diet or any other diet things or other diabetes things, definitely don't hesitate to drop me an email, direct message, or put some comments in, um, and I'll get back to you on those. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the ketogenic diet, um, Whole30 and Paleo, because those three all kind of go really well together. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. And then on Friday, we're going to talk about another um, three that go really well together, and that's um, vegetarian, vegan, and um, DASH diet, which is a, a low-fat diet. So um, I will see you back here at 2.30 Pacific over the next couple days. And um, yeah, look for that meal plan. and. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Bye.